Well, we are really kind of figuring out this fixie thing. You know, when I first tried this on the track, uh, the coasting was a huge issue for my brain. For whatever reason, it's not that way anymore. I'm slowing down right now, but I have full on climbing gears. And so like my top speed, seven miles an hour, it actually makes it really easy to ride, but we're going a little slow. That's all good. Uh, we have not crashed. We're feeling spunky. Man, I really want to do good today. I'm a selfish kind of person With a soul trying to fly I aim to break the laws of nature uh, Yeah, not enough gears at all. 4222? Huh, not enough. Not enough. What's your attire for I'm going day? velo toes over the shoes. Okay. <laughs> I've shaved my legs for this for this event. <laughs> and also I'm just not a cool enough fixie guy to wear like cut off jean shorts, you know? <laughs> so so I'm going t-shirt and bibs. But for a roadie, a t-shirt in a race? It's like what? Wild. Yeah. <laughs> You're wild. Yeah. So we're here to have fun. It's a very much a different feeling than like like race day in a crit, for example. It's a uh, there isn't, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, there's some nerves because the effort's gonna be hard, but there isn't um, this like crazy, I might die in the last corner feeling on a, on a hill climb event. I didn't think the start was gonna be that important, but they all jumped off and then couldn't clip in. And so then if you put your foot down, you're disqualified. Yeah. So then I was like, ah, I'm like track standing and I was ninth halfway up the first climb. Yeah, I was watching you. Some people say they're about the Chipotle life. Me and Travis, we have had Chipotle four times in two days. Something, some, I think, yeah, we've had Chipotle on average twice a day. So, Bro, I live this life, bro. <laughs> You're running a 42-22. 42-22. And that was no problem for you? No. Uh, so you spin up the first, like, spin. two what hills? What does spin to you? Well, spin to me is 110. So on a fixie, you have to pick your battles. <laughs> okay. So spinning on a fixie sometimes can mean 150 RPM or it could mean 80. And in this case, we're probably talking maybe 80, 90. That's considered spinning on a hill like this. So those first two rises are kind of chill. You really shouldn't be doing anything there for speed. You should be trying to keep up with everyone. You hit the midpoint and then you start looking around at people to see who's going to be your competitors and then the people that are struggling. And then from there, you pick the winners you think are going to be going. Then right about here, on the second to last climb, so you start throttling it. So that's when that gear starts to get heavier. the leg. 
legs, you can do this. You can qualify. You can make the finals. Just clip in. I mean, how many times have you missed a clip like once in your entire life? Okay, ready? Let's go. Dude. Well, you did. You were bridging hard. I, I emptied the tank to get yeah. back. Then I got like first or second coming yeah. into this third one. Dude, good bro. So frustrated, man. <laughs> So what kind of power were you doing when, I mean, at the end, he was like still accelerating? Well, my, my game plan for heading out uh, on this final, uh, once I knew that I was like kind of in the front, I did, I tried to hold, hold on to 800 watts and see what happens, you know? And on the second uh, climb over here, uh, probably he surged right past me. I thought for sure he was gonna fade maybe right around here. He just kicked into another gear. It's like 800 watts at your weight didn't get you the win. I thought I thought it was enough. <laughs> That's bonkers, bro. <laughs> it's too tough, man. <laughs> he made the finals and then he uh, did a wheelie the whole time, which was like I, I've seen him wheelie, but there was something about the crowd that made him wheelie nonstop. It was it was really impressive. So if you're gonna get last place, do a wheelie without a shirt and abs. So what we're gonna do now is kind of go explore the city. Um, in the last two days, I have a total of three minutes and 40 seconds of riding. So let's go out there and explore the town. Smoking rooms, wherever you are. It's just about close. the race I was really frustrated that I didn't make the finals because it was so close but you know the cool thing about like a fixie vibe and the whole community is just that it's not really about the results everyone's just having a blast like I was racing next to a guy who's like in like a dress and he's having so much fun and he doesn't care if he 
There was a guy riding backwards up the hill. How red is this light? <laughs> You're not gonna add that. It's so, it's so red. Yeah, man, fixies are, are a pretty sweet thing. So I would say like, to me it feels as if the bike it, it's you know it's always trying to kill you and and so if it doesn't you feel bonded with it and, and you sort of have this like it's like a relationship with the bike versus on a road bike you just you just tell it what to do and and that's that but with the fixed gear it's sort of this symbiotic like dance and you have to like date you know the bike a little bit and get to know it, it I know that's like sounds weird or whatever, but it's it's hard to put into words what it feels like when you and the bike are working well together. It's a feeling that is unmatched with a regular road bike. But then on the BMX race, so like on the track, I got second, and then on the wheelie contest, I got first. No way. So, Sick, dude. How did you win the wheelie contest? Uh, because... Uh, I got the longest wheelie. <laughs> well, I mean, I know. I understand that. <laughs> and there's also a longest jump. So you go on a hill and then drop down, and you would jump, and they would see how many inches you jumped. That's so awesome, dude. That's phenomenal, man. I'm proud of you. Hey. All right, so what a phenomenal weekend. I don't really know how to explain the vibe, but it's like if you removed the Fixie community from this, and maybe even the Red Bull like branding and how important that always makes things, it wouldn't be fun at all. Like objectively, if you just did the same thing, you just go forward and you put power down and it's like a UCI thing and it's like the hill climb world championships without the crowds, boring, dude. And I'm not trying to talk smack on the road community, but imagine, would you go and sit on the side of the road for three or four hours cheering on people you don't know? Probably not. Like, that's just not a thing that happens in the road community. But here, for some reason, the atmosphere is just, it's like rich and, and, and full of love. And like, no one is arguing. And it's just, it's just such a freaking good time. And then you're having so much fun racing your bike against everyone. And everyone's just, the camaraderie's super high. And then with the fixed gear stuff, I mean, it adds a whole nother element to it because you're sort of battling with the bike. And so then, and then there's all this like technical skill asset to it. It's not just about pure raw power. I don't know. I don't know how the road community gets more of this in it, but, but cycling needs more of these one-off events. I mean, I'm a super road doucher and the Fixie community really brought me in with like all love, you know? So. Thank you so much, guys. A huge thank you to Travis, who, you know, I brought him on to help with my whole program. That kid has been running around with a camera for two days straight. He has taken so much anxiety and pressure off of me to try to get those clips. Um, so it's really helped me a little focus more on the event itself and sort of be in it. Also, a huge thanks to State Bike Company. And i hyper-sponsored by Canyon, so Canyon, Canyon, Canyon. But the State Fixie, man, I got this thing a while ago thinking I was gonna get super into it and then I crashed on the track and never wanted to do it again. Uh, but I am falling in love with this. It's, I don't wanna say it's a better experience than a road bike, but it's, a, it's, it's completely different. It's not just like riding a bike with less gears or whatever. It's like a totally different offshoot of this sport. So anyways, look, we've dropped a flannel kit from Eliel. Go check out elielcycling.com. Get yourself some of this flannel kit. Man, this stuff's so badass. And we've got a whole women's line that has like their own unique set of colors. So look, I hope you enjoyed. What a phenomenal weekend. Can't wait to do more of this. Uh, thank you Red Bull for bringing me out. Thank you for showing Travis also a ton of hospitality. The Fixie community, I love you guys. Let's do more of this. As always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah.